Well, good afternoon. Coffee time at the bear in the den. Okay. I needed to go for a ride. Reminds me of that song, I'm stuck in the middle with you, but I'm stuck in Cornwall. Uh, I had to come back to Cornwall, pick up a few things, mail-wise and stuff, and well, today being Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Canadian, uh, when the American Thanksgiving comes up, I'll wish you happy Thanksgiving too. I don't want to feel, I don't want to lead over all my American fans or followers or whatever, but yeah. So we ended up, or we're, we're heading towards uh, the bird sanctuary up here on the other side of Ingleside, Ontario. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna catch up with my daughter, hopefully. But uh, come to find out, like when I got here, and I'll throw up some uh, video about it, but come to find out when I got here, you gotta pay for everything. Yeah, you should be able to drive through here, maybe pay for parking, but everything was free now. I got patrols going around. Did you pay? Did you? And you gotta pay just to visit. Yeah, it's just I don't know. I mean, money is great. Don't get me wrong, but it's like uh, everything's like you know, give me some money, give me some money, give me some money, and you know, well, that's what I feel. I, you know, I know COVID and stuff. They probably need stuff like that because they don't want people wrecking the place or what. I don't know. I don't know what the reasoning is. It just seems that wherever you go, it's like it's worse than uh, it's worse than uh, the people begging for money in Vancouver. Everywhere you go. So, anyways, yeah, I don't want to bitch about that, but it's just like I get to the point where I've been through here before. I mean, I lived here. I I know what this place is. I know where a lot of little nooks and crannies are. Uh, you know, I mean, it's nice to see for the first time. It's not maybe the greatest for the second or third time, so, yeah. Anyways, so I'm in the park a lot. I'm going to call my daughter and see what she's doing because, well, they want to go feed the birds, which is fine. On the way in, there's a spot there I used to, like, like I said, like years ago when I lived here, when my daughter was younger, I used to take her here with my deer calls. Can't hunt here, but. Not unless you have a bow or something, but we weren't out hunting. We were just out with my deer calls, and uh, we go along the side of the road, and there was lots of fields and stuff. And we turn on the lights, and like we make a couple of uh, fawn calls, distress calls. And then when you flash the light on it, you you see all the all the deer that was like laying down or eating or whatever in the in the field, they'd also like their heads would all go up and go looking for their little fawns or something. I mean, I don't know if that's a bad thing, but this my, my my daughter thought it was pretty cool because I was able to sort of like alert the deer or something. So anyways, we did that. And uh, yeah, so, and we fished here and we seen deer here. And a long time ago when the kids were young, I used to walk them. We used to walk them here. This is our path equivalent to what they have in, like, Vancouver. Uh, you know, like, Vancouver's got a lot of bike lanes and stuff. But, I mean, most of these paths are um, paved. But, you know, like, it'll, this goes all the way from uh, Cornwall all the way out here to... Uh, to the village, to uh, Upper Canada, the village, and I think, and beyond. Plus, you can get on the road and there's bike paths there, but, yeah, it goes a long way. And, uh, you know, it's for people to come out and do things, like my daughter's doing today, so. It's all good. I just thought, you know, uh, I'm still in Cornwall. This is uh, Thanksgiving Day, and... Uh, I went to look out for anything today when there everything's closed here, which in some cases I'm I missed that I, I you know we 
We still have that down here on the east coast or the east end of the of the country. Yeah, we still have. Uh, oh, I think uh, no, I thought they were coming back. I apologize. We still have that down here in Vancouver. I'm pretty sure it's still up and up and going, and people are walking all over the place, restaurants and whatever. So here, a lot of stuff is shut. You can't get into it today. But on that, I just thought I'd uh, give you an update. So uh, I'm going to um, try to leave. I'm going to try to leave tomorrow at some time. And that'll be like a uh, Tuesday. Uh, don't quote me. I still, uh, uh, there was one point that I was supposed to hook up with a few people. Graham was one of them. Or, um, yeah. And I, and I had another friend, or my other friend, Shirley. She's got to go up somewhere, too. I think to Cambridge or something. And she was asking me, uh, do I want to meet her at that place? And I said, I don't know if I can right now. Uh, so I'm going to give her a call and see if she's able, and we'll go up there. That's on the way out of here. That's on the way out of Cornwall. But once I leave Cornwall this time, unless something major happens, I am heading towards BC eventually as you all know people have reached out asked me about um asked me about uh Hamilton and I got a few people I gotta go see there and might be a possible when I get closer though I'll let you know might be a possible uh meet up again another my second meet and greet along the way uh, there's also another person that uh, wants to do something too. So I'll have to, yeah. I'm, this is first time for me, so I'm trying to coordinate all my stops a little bit, but I don't want to go off the beaten path. If I'm driving by and it and it's okay and it ain't like 12 midnight, then I'll stop. But uh, until that, I'm just trying to... I got to get home, I know that, because people keep on warning me or telling me or informing me, oh, there's snow, we're starting, it's cold, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I know that. And uh, I will drive to the snow unless the, unless the roads are permanently closed. And uh, I'll go slow. If I've got to go five kilometers an hour, I'll do that. But... You know, hopefully, like, when I leave Ontario before the snow falls, I'll have my diesel heater fixed. I'll have enough uh, stuff to keep me warm, just like I would any other place, and enough the stuff to eat. Because that's all you need, water, food, and, uh, you know, if you got some heat, you're good. And this thing's running great, so, you know, I don't want to say that, because, you know, I always get a little bit of a... <laughs> But it's running good, so, okay. On that note, for now, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. It's Thanksgiving Day, so, yeah, I'll probably, if you see me again on video, because I'm going to have a hard time trying to get the video up because I'm on the road, but if you see again that I'm video, I'm probably past Cornwall, and I might even go to that quarry, but... Most of you should recognize it from pictures. And I'm heading towards Toronto Hamilton area. That's where I'm going. And when you, you know, you see me with Jared and Andy, you know I'm in Hamilton. So, okay. I love you all. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. I don't know how the sun is reflecting this, but it is quite shiny here. But there is no shade here, but... It's definitely not like Alberta, though. Uh, yeah, no shade at all. <laughs> Anyways, or Saskatchewan. But, uh, yeah, so, on the next one, peace. Well, no, peace. Take care of yourself, and I love you all. Uh, and happy Thanksgiving again to my Canadian counterparts. Okay, don't eat too much turkeys. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.
Yeah. How are you? You want me to go forward a little bit? It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to look for my daughter. She's supposed to be in here somewhere. Huh? You'll have to stop at the visitor center and we can find her for you. Oh. You oh, do you have, okay. But if you want to find her, you have to pay for a visitor fee, so. You have to pay what? A visitor, the visitor fee. What's her name? Really? What's, what's her name? Well, she's not parked here yet. Like, she just came here to do some bird watching okay, with her so kids. Okay. Yeah, well, I know I've been here before. I used to live here, but since I lived here, you guys threw out a whole bunch of rules that I'm not used to. Like I, you know, I used to go through the Long Suit Parkway. I can't do that now without paying for it and all. Well, you can you can drive on the parkway. You just can't stop anywhere on the parkway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll flip around. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> can I stop in the parking lot, or do I have to pay for that no, too? No, you can stop in the parking lot. Okay. Thank you. I'll just flip around. Okay. Okay. Thank you.